tonight. Bride-to-be Nikki has waited 15 years to marry the love of her life, Stephen. Having met in the rock clubs of Manchester as teenagers. She met me when I played with her, I dare like yours. Scruffy, that's what she fell in love with. You were really obsessed with him, wasn't you? All right, you don't have to give all the secrets away. <laughs> now a dad of two, this 40-year-old groom is pining to let his hair down one last time. I'm having a tattoo. You're not. I am. This groom plans to transport his fiance back to the good old days. I need a pair of black leather pants tight. With a rock-inspired wedding. There might be a rock band there as well. <laughs> But can it rock the world of a bride who wants a romantic, stately home affair? You know, like when you walk into a room and you go, <gasps> Yeah. With Stephen in charge of every detail... I can't believe he's done this. Are you having a joke? Will this wedding be a stairway to heaven <laughs> or a highway to hell? All excitement completely gone. I've had the worst day ever. Never thought it would be like this. Nikki Abraham and Stephen Henderson live in Haywood, just outside of Manchester, with their two children, Olivia and Logan. Oh, no. Stephen was my first proper boyfriend and the first boy that I took home to meet my parents. Nicole was my first girlfriend that I ever took home as well. No, I wasn't. You fibber. She was. These lovebirds have been together for 20 years, and while puppy love often fades, it didn't for these two. Still the same, don't look as young. Got a bit of a beer bella. <laughs> she's beautiful and she's perfect. And she's given me two beautiful children. And after 20 years, it's still fun living with her. Ah. If opposites attract, that was certainly true when Nikki and Stephen first met back in 1991. I've always been kind of a little pop. Pop girl, I've always liked Kylie and all that kind of stuff. As a kid, I was into music, my parents didn't like it, it had to be rock, it had to be loud. It was just a little ball of arrogant, scruffy, long hair. He used to wear it back in a ponytail, he was quite, um, I think the word was grunge. I think he thought it was Axel Rose. Even though I didn't like the grunge and all that, I liked the long hair. And I remember thinking, well, maybe if I wear some Doc Martins and grunge myself up a bit, he might like me. <laughs> I hate that music, but I just started going to those clubs because he used to go. <laughs> Nikki's plan worked, and Stephen soon fell for the Kylie loving princess disguised as a rock chick. I thought, I'm struck luck here, have a shot above me expectations. His clothes were something to be desired for, but I always thought, oh, I'll change that, and I did, in the end. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Woo! Over the years, Nikki took control of their relationship and slowly transformed Stephen from scruffy rocker into potential husband material. After five years, he popped the question with a surprise present under the Christmas tree. I remember opening it and looking, and I went, is it an engagement ring? And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh! And excited, but it was only a cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> she said yes to the cheap ring, but for the wedding, Nikki wasn't settling for anything but her dream. At the time, we could have got married in a register office if we wanted to, um, but for me, I just wanted the big fairy tale and I wanted to save up as much money as we could so we can have the perfect wedding, you know, in years to come. But the years came and went. Even with Nikki working full-time as a personal assistant and Stephen as a transport manager, they were unable to afford that dream wedding. So instead, they turned their attention to starting a family. When I hit 30, we decided to try for a family. We had problems and for three years, I couldn't get pregnant. I was put on the waiting list for IVF. The day we got our IVF appointment, found out I was pregnant, so I was going to have our little miracle baby. Olivia arrived in 2009, followed by little Logan two years later, making family top priority. You don't put money away 
for a wedding when you think, oh no, I best buy that kid some shoes or I best buy that bill or whatever it may be. There's no money in a pot for a wedding. Now, 15 years since their engagement, they have a £14,000 budget and the opportunity to plan a wedding. But it'll be down to Stephen to organise everything. And Nikki's got her concerns. I feel like I've got three children rather than two with Stephen, because he's just a big kid. I'm not I'm very, very adult and grown up, <laughs> and I can get several witnesses he's to like testify Peter Pan, for that. A boy that never grew up. I wish. <laughs> But the boy who never grew up recently turned 40. And with a full-time job, a mortgage and two children, Stephen can't help but reminisce. I do miss being young and not having any responsibility and just going out and enjoying life. By planning their wedding himself, Stephen wants to go back to those carefree days. And he's bringing Nicky along for the ride. These next few weeks, it'll be a throwback to me youth. Maybe find that Steve that that I miss a bit, get a bit more rock into my life. And his romantic idea for Nikki's big day? My main inspiration for Wedding will be the music video from the early 90s, Guns N' Roses, my favourite band, November Rain. It was a music video, but it was based around a wedding. And the wedding on it was awesome. It was dressed up, long hair, ridiculous outfits, loud music. Just the, the scene I was into then. Stephen misses those youthful rock days badly. And with a wedding based on his favourite video, complete with daring bridal gown for Nikki, he hopes to whisk them both back to where romance first blossomed. It was a massive part of our lives when we were younger. I'll love it. Her parents will love it. My mates will love it. And I think she'll love it. I think it'll be a throwback for her and she'll proper enjoy it. But Stephen may be in for a shock. Because in their 20 years together, Nikki's never told him how she really felt about that rock scene. And I, and I keep thinking, surely there can't be something that, that is going to do something that bad that it's going to make me go, no, I'm not doing it. I hope not. Where's my contacts? In the cupboard, in the bathroom cupboard. It's nearly time for Stephen to start wedding planning. But there are rules they both must follow. He has a £14,000 budget and just three weeks to plan their dream wedding. Toiletries. Have you got shower gel and stuff? Don't need that. I'm only going through a bit. No, you need some right, toiletries and your hair yeah. gel and stuff. In order to keep his plan secret from Nicky, Stephen's agreed to move out of the family home. Bye, bye, Dada. Bye, bye, bye see big you soon. I want a pump. I will do. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. The couple won't be allowed any contact. Love you, baby. Love you. See you soon. He'll still see the kids, but next time Stephen sees Nikki, will be on their wedding day in three weeks' time. Try and uh, keep a straight face and not... And be a man. And not upset the kids. By start. The kids won't know what to do, will they? But I miss him. I didn't think I would get like this, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephen's moving into Nikki's parents' flat a couple of miles down the road. But Dad, Gary... Oh, Gary. ..and Mum, Chris, have a warning for him. Do not <laughs> mess up. Oh, oh. Right, well. I'll get out, I'll get my mates round. You <laughs> dare. Yeah, no problem. No, no, told you, no parties. Luckily for Stephen, Chris and Gary have agreed to move in with Nikki to help take care of the kids until the wedding. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, of course he will. He'll be fine. I said to him, good luck. I said, you don't dare mess up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stephen's first day of wedding planning. And to help him, he's chosen a friend he's known since those rock days 20 years ago. My best man's... A lad called Dave. He's larger than life. He's bigger than life. Oh, he also likes his music loud. And he also likes his rock. <laughs> so, a bit of match made in heaven. Check out my bachelor pad. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Steve and they were a fight with truck driver at a World Race in Airwood, he is the same fella that I met 20 years ago, although he does look a bit smarter. Is it up to your standard? 
It's a little bit burnt. Like, it's a little bit burnt, isn't it? Sorry about that. I suppose Nicky's smoothed the diamond, but he's still got rough edges. So what's the plan, then? Do you remember when you knew me and I'd had long hair and I was a snotty kid? I was into alt rock music. Yeah, yeah. But that'll be the main thing. Us being the dirty, grungy, scranky ones, and then you've got, like, Nick in the middle, like all... I don't know what... Bridal. That's the word I'm looking for. So, uh, this rock thing, was it just an old... an old thought from being a young, a young lad? Yeah, that's when I met her, though, when I it as well. Yeah, I suppose. That's what she liked. That's what drew her to her. She liked the dirty, grunge look, so... And it'll take her back into the past, won't it? Yeah. I think she'll like that, to be fair. Like it or not, Stephen's flashback to his youth isn't stopping there. I'm having a tattoo. You're not. I am. Because? Why not? Because I want one. And it's rock and roll, isn't it? <laughs> With all guns blazing, Stephen sets off to Manchester to find a venue big enough to replicate the church wedding in his favourite rock video. He's come to Halle, St Peter's, a converted church that's home to one of Britain's oldest symphony orchestras. I want this. This would be brilliant. This would be ideal. It's built for the Halle Orchestra. It's not going not gonna to bother with me having half a dozen people on electric guitars in there, is it? I can put anybody I want in there. 40 people on guitars, drums. There's no one to show him inside. Still, who needs to see inside? I can see the picture there, and that's without me starting on it. Look at the ceiling. How big it is. But will it be available in three weeks' time? Hello, Mark speaking. I've turned up here, I've had a quick look, and I've just... <laughs> I really want this. <laughs> Can you help me? Please help me. Well, we could do it for you on the 25th. Halle may be licensed for flutes and cellos, but what about heavy rock? You have music in there, so music's not going to be a problem, is it? That's not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, Brilliant. I mean, yeah, the sort of noise that you'd be making, you know, Brilliant. Yeah. Speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye bye. I want to rock! And just like that, Stephen spends £1,500 of his budget on a ceremony venue without so much as a glance inside. If the question should ever get asked, of course I've seen it. Of course I've seen it, Nick. I went in for weeks before having a look at it. It may have taken Stephen 15 minutes to book his wedding venue, but Nikki has spent the last 15 years planning for hers. I know exactly where I want my wedding. I want a beautiful stately home with beautiful grounds all under one roof where it's safe for the kids to play. Maybe somewhere like this traditional manor house in Cheshire. Oh, that's very nice. Could you imagine me getting married here? If you had it here, people would go, oh, wow. Nikki might not be able to organise her own wedding, but that doesn't mean she can't dream. Joining her for some fantasy wedding planning are bridesmaid Lisa, mum Chris and sister Claire. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome to Thornton Manor. Thank Come in. You. <laughs> wow. This is a nice room. Oh, it's a really wow. nice size as well. Lovely. It's not too big. Could be the view out there. Yeah. Oh, look, the door's open. Ooh. So is that all light in the trees? We've got twinkly lights oh, in the trees. Oh, lights. Well, yeah. Fairy lights. I love fairy lights. <laughs> but Stephen's thinking less fairy and more sort of hairy as he brings Dave to Manchester to check out a reception venue that's guaranteed to take Nikki back to the rock years. I found quite possibly the, the last divey sort of bar in Manchester. I've got my student bag with me because I'm in the student quarter, but we'll go in and see what's uh, see what's going on in here. Come as you are. G'day. Morning, lady. Frequented by the likes of the Strokes and Franz Ferdinand, this bar is famous for its rock and roll connections, but not so much for its wedding receptions. For us, it's pretty rare to show on a Saturday, but um, sell it to me, man. We'll see what we can do. She met me when I, believe it or not, had hair like yours. Didn't have a care in the world, though. Scruffy, jacket. That's what she fell in love with 20 years ago, so let's take her back in time. 20 years, man. 20 years I've been with her. Oh, I love that. Respect. <laughs> back at Nikki's castle, 
the girls are brushing up on their wedding etiquette. Shall I show you next where you would have the wedding breakfast? Yes, please. I always wonder why they call it a wedding breakfast. It's the first meal that you have after your marriage. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> What am I doing again? We're getting married. We're getting married. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's like a Cinderella room. So it's you'd gorgeous. like this venue for your wedding? I then? would. Yeah, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you walk into a room and you go, <gasps> yeah, I want the room to feel like that. Well, I hope you get it down. Because if you don't, I'll strangle it. <laughs> This uh, is the front lounge. <laughs> this is uh, the bar. Uh, this is our DJ booth. This is Tom. Right, Give a smile, Tom. Tom. This is it in a way, isn't it? This Welcome is to awesome, the uh, roof garden. It's and, cool, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I am well impressed with this. You've got a cool place here. Do you want a Jaeger? Let's have a Jaeger. That's well. But take in the view, guys. That's pretty cool, man. You can see what's going on with the contact and all that. It's nice. It's, it's nice. awesome. It's You've got. <laughs> Something that's gone back in time to the 90s for oh, me. Yeah. It's like reliving me youth. Brilliant. Stephen's found his 90s throwback reception venue, but he's on a strict budget, so it's time to haggle rock and roll style, which basically means haggling at the bar. How much money are you going to offer me? I've got about... Are you ready? You sat down. I've yeah. put the fingers on the table for yeah. this. Thousand? Yeah. With food and entertainment? Yeah. It's tempting. If I, if I said five and I throw in the entertainment, the food and some freebies, how would that feel? So you do your business, man. But um, I know, I'll, I'll, get the, I'll get the price down, right? Maybe I can do it cheaper than that. And after much negotiation, Stephen gets the dive bar for £4,000, including a hog roast. Together with the church, that's five and a half thousand pounds of his budget. And as week one draws to an end, the groom and the best man feel sure it's worth every penny. That's a great venue, and that is rock. That is just the epitome of rock. For about ooh, first five minutes, I went in there and he started talking, so I forgot I was uh, 20 years older and had two kids and a wife to be. Just thought, wow, he's awesome. <laughs> Let's just have a drink. As Stephen and Dave get lost in nostalgia, Nikki and the girls are also going down memory lane. Wow. Oh, my God. This is my dress that I went on my first date with Stephen, remember? With a little denim waist jacket. <laughs> oh. Do you remember I used to wear it with, like, ankle boots? Because <laughs> Stephen used to be into the grunge thing, didn't oh, yeah. he? So I used to buy it to try and fit in. I used to buy nice little dresses and then wear them big cloggy boots on the end of the <laughs> you did. But I used to wear Stephen them thinking like... that Stephen would like... <laughs> You People were really, really obsessed really like with him, though, wasn't you? Yeah. All right, you don't have to give all the secrets <laughs> away. <laughs> what if he transports you back to when you met? What, the grunge? Oh, yeah, the grunge, yeah. what, what if he decides, let's go back and let's have a bit of nostalgia or something like that and decide? Yeah, but that was his nostalgia. Yeah, I no, not really into He the might grunge. have thought you was into it at the time. Mine was an app. appeared to be into it. Yours <laughs> was an app. Did I ever tell him that I wasn't really into it? <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> So he'd like me. <laughs> Our relationship's been a lie. <laughs> Oblivious to Nikki's lie, Stephen is still determined to relive the golden days. He's brought Dave to check out a tribute band he thinks will be perfect to serenade Nikki up the aisle. can turn it up to 11. Question is, will they turn up to the wedding? She met me when I had hair down my neck. I used to walk around with a donkey jacket on, thinking I was Axel Rose. I keep looking at you and I say, Axel, I can't stop looking at you. <laughs> I I'm a bit starstruck. Um, I've got this mad vision in my head, and to be fair, it's basically the November rain video. Right. It'll be awesome. Yeah. And I'm getting married in the middle of it. <laughs> the only thing is, it'll be sweet child of mine going in. So how many songs do you want done? Two. Sweet child of mine. And I'm still undecisive on the one leaving out. Probably Paradise City. Right. Wow. That'll be awesome. And what we're looking at for an afternoon's work? Well, seeing it's a special day for you guys, and I know you've got a lot of outlets and 
How does 500 quid sound to you? 500 quid's the mark. Rifle <laughs> <laughs> right, tower. Come it's on. It took me back. It took me back, and I realise I'm not as young as I used to be, but I will be for one night only. Oh, one night only. One night only. If Nikki walks up the aisle... If she don't cry to this, I'm no, retired. we've just not done his job, have we? I'm going to retire. She might cry all right, but will it be for the right reasons? It's already week two, and it's only just dawned on Nikki what's at stake by handing over control of the biggest day of her life. I keep worrying about every possible thing that could go wrong or that he forgets to do. Do you know nothing? No. So does he have to do all the invites and everything as well? Yeah. So he has to invite everybody. He does everything. See, I'm not even allowed to book, like, my nails in for my wedding, my hair. Any makeup people, I'm not allowed to do anything oh, yeah. like that. I'd have to do my eyebrows myself, draw them on myself. Oh, I could do. Stressful, isn't it? Well, I won't even know where I'm going till I get there. You just get in the car and you go oh, and yeah. you find out when you get there. Well, that's if she gets a car. <laughs> The boys are now in the Yorkshire Dales to book transport fit for a rock star bride, complete with crash helmet. It's going to be like a rock theme wedding, right. so that six of bars. It just fits a treat. Yeah, of course it does, yeah. A treat that every bride wants on her wedding day. And at £500, will it be a treat too far? So brave. <laughs> I like the traditional kind of wedding, but I don't know if I'll get that. No, Probably not. You never know. You never, never know. know. You might, might get me a perfect to. day. So far, Stephen's booked two venues, a rock band and some transport. With half his budget spent, it's finally time to turn his attention to the wedding outfits. He's come to Affleck's, an indoor market in Manchester, in search of a look that 20-year-old Stephen would have appreciated. I need mean, a pair of black leather pants tight. Uh, right, Did let's have a look. at all like that? We have. Yeah, right, now, the look. leather pants, the ladies, but you said tight. Yeah, so that's when we'll you get with... Do you want to not say ladies, though, in case <laughs> anybody knows, you know what I mean? <laughs> they are ladies. You have to stretch a bit more. I'll have a go, though. I'll say anything once. Yeah. There's no way I'm getting in these, but I'll have a good go. <sighs> are they snug? Uh, yeah. They don't go around my hips. <laughs> well, not everything can go back 20 years, Stephen. Uh... Have you got the dress yet? No. No, Got some behind us. So, what style is it you're really after? Oh, you know, you saw, you saw talking glam rocky. So you've got this. That's yeah. quite pretty, that. But it's very simple. Not what I want. Right. No. 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 That's no. The, no. 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 Stephen is looking for a dress that fits his inspiration, and he even wants Nikki to wear the same wedding dress as the bride in the video. Unfortunately, there's nothing remotely similar on the rails, but shop owner Catherine thinks she may be able to help. If you pop down what's in your head, I will try my best. I'll see what I can find. It's all round one rock video, like that. But you, you understand? So it's a sticky out, so what? But yeah. coming up. Short at the well. front, long at the back. Spot on. And all fluffy and stuff like that. And she's happy with wearing this. <laughs> She's no idea what I'm doing yet, so she either wears it or she just finds herself another bloke, so... Right, OK. Right, I'll do the very best I can. Thank you very much. Although Stevens had no luck finding his own rock outfit, he is one step closer to finding Nikki's, whether she wants it or not. It's a simple solution. Just leave it to the woman in the shop. I think he's very much... He's buying it for himself rather than for her, what she would look like, if I'm honest. I think, you know, it's more... He's got this vision of what she'll look sexy and lovely. <laughs> and her vision's probably completely different. Now <laughs> can, come on. Nikki's vision is completely different and very particular. She's come to a bridal shop in Middleton to show her mum and bridesmaids exactly what it is. When I started putting plans into place for my wedding with Stephen, I've always known what dress I've wanted. I know where to get it from and I know what I'm looking for when I go into a shop. Yeah. Hello, nice to, to see you. you. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that one. If he gets anything oh, right, yeah. it does have to be the dress. Yeah. The dress is so That's the main thing. Yeah. Oh, my God! Wow. Don't
like because you'll make me cry. Oh, like amazing. I like it. Oh, you're it's oh, exactly what I wanted. I feel yeah. like Cinderella, because I've had it in my head for so long, yeah. I knew what I wanted. Yeah. I knew I wanted a big, nice, elegant, beautiful, sparkly yeah. Cinderella princess, fairy tale dress. It ticks every box. It does. Yeah. I won't be able to stop thinking about it now when I go mm. home. I feel um, like the perfect gorgeous. bride. Yeah. Love it. Stunning. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried that he might get the wrong idea. Yeah and go tacky. I've never tried a wedding dress on before. I didn't want to jinx it. Um, it was amazing, fantastic, loved it. But now I fell in love with the dress <laughs> and I don't want to be disappointed on the day. It's the end of week two and unfortunately for Nikki, there's no sign of relenting on the rock theme. Stephen's in Manchester to pursue yet another teenage dream. His first ever tattoo, incorporating the names of the people he loves with the band he loves. Why did you decide to go with the rock theme wedding? I've been with her 20 years, and this is what I used to do 20 years ago. You only live once, don't you? Know what I mean? You've been with her for 20 years. Yeah. But she wants this traditional. I know what she wants. I've been with her 20 years. She wants this traditional wedding, sticky out dress. She's proper like. I don't know, like chart. Should we say chart? Yeah, she's done like pinky and long nails. But I say she's not rocky and all that. But I'd come home on a Friday and she'd go, I've got tickets for Aerosmith this weekend yeah. for you. You know what I mean? So she liked it and she used to jump into it. Fun though, isn't it? It's also fun, isn't it? And you're liking this now, aren't you? I'm just laughing that you say tattoo's fun. It's like, it is forever. <laughs> it's nice oh, no, I don't think about tomorrow. It's it's and I've got like cars, house, mortgage, and all that. No, it's still fun. Good have fun, aren't you? I was too busy 20 years ago to get a tattoo done. Don't know, I just never got it done. And to be fair, you don't have fun. You feel as old as I am. And I don't, I feel 20 at the moment. With a permanent reminder of his 20 year old self, Stephen's back to wedding planning. He's off to Manchester after getting a phone call from the vintage shop lady, who he trusted to find Nikki's wedding dress. Go see the lovely lady, Catherine. She said she's got a dress. Now I've seen some of the dresses in there. I mean, they were they were all right. They were lovely dresses, but I don't think it's what just what I want. We'll see what happens. That's cool. I really like it. <laughs> Is that still what you want? Yeah. Short at the front and long at the back, it's everything Stephen wanted his rock video wedding dress to be. Well, this has just blown me away. I didn't expect this. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's the best thing I've seen, even on internet. I'm really glad you've done it. Excellent. It's very right. pretty as well, isn't it? Do it's very what? all this you've back stuff and that. The elegance for her, so she'll still feel that she's wearing a a wedding dress. Awesome. And there's more good news for Stephen. She's even gone and sourced an outfit for him. Oh, no way, have you? Leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, they fit. I think it's a man trying to get his identity back, and you get that a lot. You know, it's nice sometimes to go, yeah, this is who I am again. This is me. With the wedding outfit sorted, Stephen has one more surprise outfit on his shopping list. I come up here to get a joke dress as well. It's a wind-up dress. Right, you know OK. I mean? So I take it you don't want it to be nice? No. No. <laughs> but, you know, like, that subtle, like, oh, my God, he really has got me this? You would choose that one. That one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, cos that's a party dress. She'd think I'd chose that last minute. Brilliant. On the very last minute, yeah. yeah. Right, so that's... Swing that one in as well. <laughs> so that's the one you want to pretend that you've... Yeah, yeah. Including alterations, that's a £1,000 for his and hers outfits. Plus the joke dress, because, well, why wouldn't you? It's time now to dress the kids. Look for a long black dress. <laughs> Something just... Because I don't want red. But Stephen's rock theme definitely doesn't get a look in with this young lady. I like the flowers up here and the sticky out there. 
I'm the flowers because you're the flower girl, aren't you? Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. And for Logan, a suit and top hat. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, he almost looks like Slash. It's the middle of week three, and with a few days to go, Stephen's racing through his £14,000 budget. But he's not done yet. To fill the space in the Grand Church, Stephen and Dave have found backing singers to join the band. All 60 of them. Very good. Thank you, you guys. I've got this vision, you see, so I know you lot are now part of it, so good luck with that. And I'll just watch everyone's face to see the reaction. There might be a rock band there as well. <laughs> Is that good? Cool? Uh, fair enough. The band's gonna be nicely in the corner, the guy, as soon as she walks through, yeah. looking all lovely and everything. You lot will be singing, then the guitar will take up, because it's all, it, that nice riff that goes through the full song. I think you might just make my missus' day, to be fair. That's what you want to hear. I can do the slushy bit as well. <laughs> and Stephen has one final romantic gesture, a matching tattoo, booked in for Nikki for the morning of the wedding. So what I could do is do, like, one of the roses, maybe. I think in an hour, maybe, I could even get the gun in there as well. it will just be a nice little tasteful tattoo, a nice little uh, reminder of the day. Right, we'll go with that. Yeah, all right then, mate, nice one. So half past 12 here on Saturday, yeah? Yeah. It's the day before the wedding, and Stephen's three weeks are nearly up. Today is the day Nikki gets to see her wedding dress. But before she sees the real dress, Stephen's arranged for best man Dave to deliver his comedy fake one. Hello! Is that my dress? It doesn't look very big. I'm with that one. Oh, I'm not going to like it. Hi, I'm not. It's dead small. Right, let's just like. What's that tag on it? It's like your invite to the wedding, is it? And I'll just say, if you fancy a day out, here's a dress to wear. If you fancy a day out? Well, go and have a look. You don't be getting upset yet because you've, you've not, not seen it. Well, I can feel how light it is. <laughs> is that for me? You're not wearing that. Is he having a laugh? You better add me, cos I'm not... <laughs> it's oh. funny. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's not your wedding dress. That's it's not even white. It's horrible. I'm not wearing that. Nikki can't have any contact with Stephen, but her mum can. Time for a phone call from the mother-in-law. Dave, they're phoning me now. Hello? Is that Stephen? Yeah. Are you having a joke? What? Is it a joke, this dress? Is it heck? It took me ages to choose that. It's vintage. Well, she's not even tried it on. She don't want it. Well, she'll have to do it, won't she? Telling her putting it in the no. bin. Well, I'm not Steven, wearing it. Stephen, she won't even try it on. Tell her to try it on. She's not. She's adamant. She's not wearing it. She's adamant? Who's adamant? Who's adamant? I remember him. You better sort it out. <laughs> Calm down. No. Let me speak to him. No, I've turned him off. <laughs> Brilliant. If I walk down the aisle in that, everyone will just burst out laughing. It's horrible. The 20 years if she don't know what a wind-up is. They must be taking this really seriously, then. I hope she likes the second one. So do I. Reckon she will. Obviously. Well, the thing is, I reckon because that first one's so awful, the second one... It's going to be better, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's going to be better than just getting that. The boys have had their fun, so it's time for Dave to pop back round with another set of instructions. I hope you've got another it's dress. Fast, right, well, you can take off. that back to him, cos it's got... hanging. So that, yeah. I don't want it. That, that was a fake. This is real. Get in the car now. In the car. Really? Where are we going? Out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I'm going to kill him. Well, you kill him. You kill him where? Right, we've got to get our shoes on. We're going in the car. She may have laughed off the joke dress, but will Nikki be laughing when she sees the real thing? Look how dear. It's just like warehouses. 
As in Manchester, she recognizes the indoor market from her youth. Oh no. Because they just sell ridiculous stuff in there. You bought stuff in there? Yeah, not for a wedding. Oh no, I know that. For the girl who wanted a Cinderella princess fairy tale dress. I need to go to the second floor. When you got there, there'll be somebody waiting for you. What will she make of her vintage music video replica dress? Hiya. Nikki? Yeah. OK, if Mum and Bridesmaid want to wait here... Right. Then ..you okay. come through with me. Right. OK? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> I think she's going to really like it. It's nerve-wracking, isn't it? It is nerve-wracking, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think so. As soon as I've seen that lady then, I just thought, yeah, I think, I think it'll be something quite classy. Oh, God, I'm shaking. <laughs> I hope I'm going to like this. After her reaction to the joke dress, how will this mum of two react to Stephen's real rock and roll vision? Is that the real dress? Right. Do you want to try it on? No. Don't no. even want to try it. Don't like it. Right. What, what do you not like about it? Everything. In, everything. Yeah. Everything completely. Everything. There's not one thing. No. no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's I, horrible. Look so at it. Please don't hold back. Got bows on it for Christ's sake! And what's that? What no, the hell think, is that? No, but I think you need to try it on. I, I don't think, want to try it on. It's no, awful. No, it's short at the front and then goes long at the well, back. I don't so like at least it. it I'm not wearing that in front of all my wedding guests. I'm not wearing it. I can't believe he's done this. But Nick, it might be. It might be to go with the theme. That I don't done. care. It could, could have got me a normal dress. He's not done it because he's horrible. Well, no, he must have done. He to be. He, 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 no, well, he, he, he doesn't because he, he wouldn't make me wear that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's what he's done, isn't it? It's what he's done. Just try it and see. But with no idea of Stephen's theme, Nikki can't see past the dress that's nothing like her Cinderella fairy tale dream. I do love the back. I think it's nice. lovely. It's not nice. No, the back is. Horrible. The back is. The back is. I like the front. It's, it's very nice. you. It is no, very it's you. The, the, the I don't like, I don't like that. No, lying. I don't like this. I don't like lying. the top. What if they do something to it? Like, like what? Set it on fire? Know. There's an element of when she was younger, she'd wear you know, the little tutus and things like that, but she's a 40-year-old woman now. Mm. It's not... It's a dress... That's a dress for a 20-year-old. It seems Stephen's throwback to 20 years ago could be thrown back in his face. Bridesmaid Lisa puts in a call to check he really is serious this time round. It's Lisa. Shall I answer this? <laughs> oh, hello. What? Hello. Hi, it's Lisa. Hiya. Just to say, and this is really serious now, Stephen, so you do need to listen to me. She really dislikes the dress. She's commented that it's an 80s cut-up dress. She doesn't want to wear it. What? Um, she really doesn't like it. It doesn't suit her. It's not flattering at all. Is there any money left in the budget? So is there anything to get an alternative dress from another bridal shop, maybe? Seriously, Lisa, I've spent it. Spend it, on, okay. spend it on everything else, you know what I mean? I've seen it's all gone and down. And nothing that can be cancelled. Yeah, the wedding. Sorry to let you know. All right, catch you later. Okay, all right, bye. It's all right. I mean, I'm a chop chop. Push camera. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Good. Uh, you can have a chocolate. Yeah. I've done the bad news. Mummy don't like a wedding dress. Uh, yeah. Why 
Ring dive. With no money left to buy a new dress, Stephen can only hope Dave will convince Nikki to wear the one he's chosen. And he wants to talk to you. Go on. Go on. I've not got back any sense, what? No, but you could have got a normal wedding dress for this horrible. It's horrible. It's not flattering. Well, it is part of the thing. <laughs> but obviously, she's not aware of his thinking behind the process and she's not aware of what he's doing. He was really trying to send the message of, I am that boy you fell in love with. I am that guy who wore the trendy jackets, who had the long hair. And that really is lovely. That touches your heart, because, you know, he's celebrating those 20 years, but obviously she doesn't know any of those things. I don't want to walk down that aisle looking like that. This is not the biggest... I know it's a big issue to you, but in the grand okay. scheme of what's going to happen yeah. tomorrow, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then tears that you've got today, you'll still have tears, but these will be an absolute joy. And tomorrow's going to be the greatest day of your life, and you're going to really enjoy it. But all this fits in with what we're doing. Right, I'll wear it. Fuck okay. you. No, I don't see it fit. Sure. Dave has spoken, and it seems everyone's sold. Everyone, that is, except Nikki. All excitement, completely gone. I've had the worst day ever. Never thought it would be like this. Um, and I, if Stephen thought this was going to be funny, he's really made a big mistake, cos it's not... I don't, I've not seen the funny side of it. Um, I don't know. just want to go home now. It's the night before the wedding. And realising he might have missed the mark with Nikki's dress, Stephen's left wondering about the rest of his choices. The golden age is over. The last thing I want to do is have her genuinely upset. And that's what I'm shocked about. I thought she'd just go with the flow with this dress. and But she can't see what I see. She can't see the choir and the band. And... And now, now I'm actually having second thoughts about the whole thing, thinking, oh, my God, if she hates her dress, what else is she going to wear? It's the morning of the wedding, and after yesterday's dress disaster, Nikki's woken up with a fresh perspective. Obviously, I still want to marry him. I'm going to kill him after I've married him. I'm going to throttle him. Stephen's also got a new perspective and is re-examining some of his less conventional wedding plans. Do you know the bike, the trike and the tattoo and all that? Like, no, I'm not doing it. She's got that many surprises. I think that one's probably better off being pulled out of it. Yeah, pulling up on a, on a trike for a tattoo. Yeah. It's the best, that. it's the most adult thing to do yeah. in my non-adult existence. I'm not a very adult, mate. I think what you thought she might like, you were probably not right. It's all snowballing now, and yeah. I thought she'd like the dress. I did. I really did. Come on, then, book your ideas up. We've got a wedding to go to. Come on, then. As the boys make their way to the church, Nikki gets her first surprise of the day. Nikki. The kids' wedding outfits. Did you, oh, 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 you pick them? Oh, oh wow. Is your veil in there? Your daddy, yeah. Good job you picked him. God knows what I'd have had you in. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> and another of Nikki's worries seems to have been addressed with the arrival of hair and makeup. I can't understand what was going through his mind because he hasn't got bad taste. You're not seeing the whole picture, are you? No, I know. And at the church, the whole picture is slowly coming together. And makeup done. It's time for Nikki to embrace Stephen's plans for the big day. What's wrong there? And the bridal party are doing their best to keep her spirits up. Look at the door. Oh! Oh, Nicola, you look absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful oh, on my life. Gorgeous and all at the back. Yeah. And with the arrival of Stephen's swanky last-minute alternative transport... Oh, my God, is that what we're going in? It's time to get the show on the road. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something to th fit in with a the theme now because everything's kind of old, vintage. spent three weeks planning this day to make Nikki remember the boy she fell in love with 20 years ago. And finally, his bride is at the church door. We are here today to witness the marriage of Stephen and Nicola. Would Logan like to bring some rings forward for us, please? Have you got the ring? Come here, mate. Have you got the rings? Hey, hey. Where are they? And as you hold the ring in position, if you could say to Nicola, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and affection. Of my love and affection. I choose you. I choose you. To be my wife. To be my wife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and affection. Of my love and affection. I choose you. I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. Well, Stephen and Nicola, you have both now made the declaration for the celebration of marriage. Now it gives me a great deal of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. Congratulations. <laughs>
good band, wasn't it? Have what you the, guessed what theme think it I've is? I've guessed what the theme is, Guns N' Roses. Well done. And November Rain. Well the done. The song, the, the video. I get it now. At last. What was it like 20 years ago? I had attitude, I had long hair, and I, I listened to rock music. I know. Is that not what you followed me around for, yeah. chasing me around? Yeah. Well, there you go, then. Yeah. I've took you back in time. I was gonna put a wig on, but I thought I might have just took you over the edge. <laughs> She's loved it. She's absolutely Fantastic. loved it. Oh, I'm yeah. very, very proud. Very Doing good. a real good job. Yeah. When I first seen the band, I thought, what has he done? Yeah. But they were really good. I'm so proud of him. Let's see what happens next. Looking forward to the next part. And the next part is about to happen, as Stephen's arranged for Nikki and the bridesmaids to go on ahead to the reception venue. Mrs. Henderson, Mrs. Henderson, did it bring back any memories? Yeah. What memories did it bring back? When I was young, and um, Guns N' Roses, November Rain, the video. She wore that this dress, and I actually said, <laughs> when I was about 20, oh my God, I love that dress. Um, I want well, to dress like that when I get married. So you've got the dress. But you forget, don't you? And he remembered, so he does listen to you, man. He does listen. Bless him. Nikki may have loved her rock video ceremony, but what will she make of Steve's dive bar wedding reception? Ooh, I wonder where we're going. Are we going to the student union? No. Oh, yeah. We wouldn't do that, would I? Yeah. Why would you take us to the student union? Because he used to go to all them kind of things. Yeah, but part of some of it. Be about your well, that means students can just come. Big hands? Is that my venue? It's just like all my friends in like nice wedding outfits going in here. Oh my god. Whilst the guests make their way across Manchester, Nikki's getting a preview hey, look of Stephen's reception efforts. Oh, it's a top hat. With skeletons on the top. <laughs> Stay in there. It's lovely though. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone back to the like yeah, back to the future actually. too much. It's, it's like he's, he's like he's like reliving his youth. Yeah, because that's the first time you've not been together for so long. Isn't I'm it? never letting and then him he's out. Gone back I'm never letting was. him out my sight ever again. And this is where we used to hang out. I think he's like gone back in time too much. I think he's having a nervous breakdown and a midlife. He's having a midlife. He's having a midlife crisis. It's all too much for him. He's trying to relive his youth. But going back to his youth isn't quite over yet, because he already paid for the trike. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. In whatever comes our way. Oh my God, is he come on that trike? Do I like it? I think that you're having a midlife crisis and you're trying <laughs> to relive your youth too much. I'd like to relive my youth from what we were like when we were 20 years I ago. I never liked any of this. Well, you should have stood up for yourself a little bit more like you do now. <laughs> As Nikki finally admits her real feelings about the rock scene, maybe a tad late, the party gets going. But our bride throws herself into it, and this time she isn't pretending. I'll raise your glasses and to toast Mr. and Mrs. Henderson and God bless you. Yay, Mr. I suppose I've had a lot of highlights, so it's very different to pinpoint the actual one. But watching them two walk up the aisle with that big a smile and saying I do, that was the pinnacle of the day. I'm just going to say now, who thinks the dress is all right? Yeah. She's a beautiful person. I love her to bits, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And I'm glad I've got away with today. He's just about got away with today. <laughs> you have done a spectacular thing. I have had to get over the shock every time. But um, just so happy to be married after 20 years, and. Um... <laughs> Yay! Yay! 
And there's one final surprise for Nikki. I can't believe what's happened. Yeah, but it's oh nice. my God. It's got your name yeah, on but it. it's not even small. I'm actually like, I'm lost for words with that. A day or two into it, I'd randomly turned into Mr. 20 year old again. <laughs> Fantastic. It really has. You put fairy lights up for you and everything. I know. Has it been one of the hardest things you've ever done? Yeah. Has it been stressful? Yeah. You know what you give me in 20 years? You give me 20 years of happiness. Oh. And Olivia and Logan. Mm, that's three good things. And I love you. Hmm. Oh my.